Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 14 and before we jump right into the advent calendars I mean you will probably know because you've read the title I've seen the thumbnail but for me right now at the moment I don't know if this will be its like own separate small vlogmas video or if I will be able to like edit the um, the pony custom video or if I will squeeze in something completely different basically <laughs> editing is taking very long right now because I have like videos that that are like they have huge amount of footage like customs or rehairing or stuff like that and my like computer is not really let's say um, cooperating so I have a lot of struggle with editing this uh, pony custom video it's not even a huge thing it's just like I don't know if I will be able to really put it out today for the 14th of uh, December for the vlogmas video maybe it will also be a very very late upload so but maybe it's just this thing you will know and I have to figure it out over the course of the day what I will do with this video but let's just simply start with opening up the calendars so Disney pins number 14 right in the middle mm -hmm. oh, I could not tell what that is first I thought oh it's really round but then it has something really sharp at the edge. I don't know, what is it? Ah, okay, it's a marble pin, I can feel that. So no Mickey head back uh, stopper. They're really hard to remove these. <laughs> so, who is it? Okay. I cannot really tell you anything about this directly. <laughs> um, it's a kind of a Spider-Man, but in black. I'm not a big Spider-Man fan. I kind of like the Spider-Man from the MCU, but uh, like the Tom Holland Spider-Man. I've never watched any spider man before that. And uh, I think I haven't even watched the second. So like Homecoming I have watched and then the Far From Home I have not watched yet. And obviously I probably won't watch the very new one that comes like to the cinema tomorrow or whatever this week. Um, and I have no idea why Spider-Man at one point had a black suit. So I'm 100% sure that I will give this pin to my niece. She is kind of even the bigger uh, Marvel fan than, than what I am. And like she really really likes Spider-Man so... Um, maybe she knows when he had a black suit on, I don't know. And it's also not a Venom thing, right? No, it just looks like normal Spider-Man, but okay. Not my favorite pin, but something I can put in as an extra special small gift for my niece, maybe for Christmas. <laughs> or I just give it to her next uh, week, I don't know. Or oh, this week, Sunday, when we watch uh, the next uh, Hawkeye episode, I don't know. Not the best pin for me, but it looks good and I mean... I would have hoped for more, for, for more Guardians of the Galaxy character. But we have another calendar to open. Let's see what, what the super fluffy package here brings us. So... Ooh. From this purple uh, wrapping paper, I exactly know <laughs> know what it is. If you've watched all of my other Vlogmas videos already, then you might remember that I once already had something in this purple tissue paper, and um, it was from a small shop. So it's from uh, uh, Trip and Sarah, a German um, Etsy small shop uh, specialized in resin jewelry. And I said, there's something else from her in this calendar. I put something else in 
and it's a little bit more on the toy inspired theme so 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 um let's let's have a look i know what it is really really excited about these A is something pink and it's Polly Pocket inspired. Yeah. For a while she had these Polly Pocket um, compact inspired earrings on her shop. I think she also had them in purple and there might have been another color. Not exactly sure. The only ones left were the ones in pink, but I, I like pink would probably have been the ones that I would have chosen anyway and they're exactly inspired by the quilted hearts so the babysitting series uh, of uh, compacts one of my favorite series very iconic and yeah, the back is like the super nice glittery um, resin pink and uh, yeah obviously the front also is glittery but it's carved in and then kind of I don't know how it's done and then uh, the inside of the carvings are white so you can definitely see the Polly Pocket logo. Again they are pretty big, not as big as the um, the, the star and moon ones that I uh, had a couple of days before and again I did not expect them to be this big but uh, this is a really pleasant surprise that they are also big enough I mean now my outfit today is like super blue etc so that doesn't match <laughs> but um, I wanted to show you like this is the inspiration obviously for these earrings this is one of the three um, babysitting um, qu themed quilted hearts Polly Pocket from 94 so one of my favorite series I have all three of them iconic and this is exactly what she used as an inspiration here I was just really on the hunt for some some jewelry or something that is toy inspired, um, like vintage toy inspired. So it might have been something like a po My Little Pony that I could have like that I would have um, bought or something. Um, I don't know, puppy surprise or whatever. People are doing so many different things, and um, when you look for like Polly Pocket jewelry, most most often you will find um, people like uh, using real Polly Pockets. So, not the compact, but the dolls inside to make jewelry out of them. And this is something that I don't want. I don't want people to... My goodness, I cannot find my hope in now. Oh, there it is. Um, I don't like people like reusing the real figurines for jewelry, putting a hole in a head. I don't know, that's something... Yeah, I don't... Also, they're then super small, <laughs> because Polly Pocket is super small. Um, so I was happy that someone did something else and then I immediately jumped on it as um, I said a couple of years ago because this seller, uh, she is from Germany. So that was like, wow, cool, I don't have to pay an insane amount of shipping or import fees or anything. She's from Germany. And um, sadly, I think she does not have them anymore. So I will definitely link her, her um, Etsy shop down below. A very small shop, uh, but, but lovely resin pieces. But then again, I think she has not um, like made new Polly Pocket earrings since I've bought them like two months ago, or I don't remember exactly when I bought them. Uh, but I was like keeping them keeping them all the time for putting in the calendar. It was really hard and I was really tempted to already wear them or something like, ah, yeah. Super happy with my Polly Pocket earrings. So uh, either now you directly switch into the next video, Pony Custom or something else, uh, I don't know. Or this was just a very short Vlogmas video for the 14th of December and I will be working hard on the next uh, edits because I also have flea market hunts for you. Um, as I said, pony reherrings, customs. There's so much like footage that I already have. Um, other hauls. So thank you for watching. See you real soon. And um, may the toys be with you. Bye. Or into the next video, depending. Hello, everyone. 
So maybe you remember this G3 pony, this poor little Pinkie Pie that I picked up at the flea market. Her hair is just not um, rescuable and she's very discolored anyway, so her back uh, is still a little bit better concerning the color, but here it's very faded. And um, yeah, I want to make a custom out of her. So G3 ponies are like, oh, I hate to open up their heads. It's so difficult and as you can see, I could not open it up like correctly. So the, um, I don't know, the inner ring that actually belongs to the head portion is just most often it's kind of super tight glued in and or melted into the rest of the body already so I got the head off but it's um, like you know I had to cut it off so I have to um, then glue it back on in the end and to be able to get inside the body for removing the tail etc I like you know you, you can see that I had to cut and like use a lot of strength so that was not easy definitely but I did not want to do that on camera that was like I know can't, can't do these things on camera it's too stressful yeah so I have just washed uh, the head again to be able to uh, so with warm water to be able to remove the hair better her hair is really matted so yeah just cut it off as short as possible that makes it easier to get it out from the inside and then I'm using these tweezers, or scissor tweezers, to rip it out from the inside. And uh, at the head, um, Beneath the hair there was a little bit more dirt that I wasn't able to get off but with some acetone it was really easy to remove. Now we need to get the hair, the tail out of the body and yeah it's actually easier I realized that when you also cut it off when you don't want to use it again so then you can rip it out easier from the inside and as you can see very rusty see how rusty this is Ugh. so I need to go to the bathroom and wash her uh, completely to get all like to get um, rid of the uh, rust in there Ugh. So that should be okay. And now let's remove the cutie mark. I will not remove the eyes because I just want to keep them. I will never be able to paint eyes this good. But I need to get rid of the cutie mark. And so let's just put some acetone here. That was fast. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I also want to remove this. And these dark spots, they're not removable. I already checked that. Now I have to um, get this a little bit. So you also, when you're using um, acetone, you have to definitely uh, clean this and off again. So, not, so that not just the acetone is still on the pony's body. So I go to the bathroom again. Make it pony. At first, let's start with the re-hair. I have several colors here that I am thinking about putting in. <laughs> um, definitely want to have a uh, like pink and a dusty pink kind of all overall appearance. And I have these two tinsel types here. So this is left over from uh, when I re-haired my sunspot. Um, and this is a more bronze, so gold and bronze. Tinsel. And then I have these four different colors. All of those are not really pony matches, uh, as far as I know. So especially not from Generation One. But as this is a custom, I don't care. So obviously, could put in all four of them, or just a couple of them. If 
I think I will go with these three colors. So these two pink tones and then this uh, bronze. So we split it out a little bit into this. So this is a complete like more or less pink, uh, pinkish, um, dusty pink rehair. Yes. For this pony, I decided to use really long hair. So uh, after uh, separating it to, to the amount that I want to use, I just cut it once and then if, you, if, it's, if it's folded in half, it's long enough here. I'm testing out, but this is the length that I'm going for. So uh, longer than most ponies, most uh, uh, normal ponies would have. you want to have a more in-depth look about, uh, in the topic of rehairing ponies, I have done a tutorial um, about a year ago. I will link that down below and uh, here in the corner. But um, for this video, it's uh, I will just briefly always um, talk what I'm like, tell you what I'm doing, and not like go in detail. It's not meant to be a tutorial. As you can see, I uh, left out a little bit in between uh, because there I want to put the other color because I've, ch I've decided for two colors. There you can see this is the second color. I cut it uh, the same length, obviously. And now I take this color to put it in between those. In between those parts that I have already rehaired. And then obviously the last part in the neck also will become this color. So it's always uh, the, the light pink and the more red pink and then the light pink again or the other way around. Yeah. to talk again. I have just done one rehair with tinsel, no two, but uh, one of them was just in the tail, so I don't count that really. And uh, I'm not really super professional. I always just actually take one or two strands of tinsel and then I spread it out all over it from both sides. Um, I don't know, it, it depends. The ponies that were made, most of them were just then used on one side, so the display side uh, will definitely get more glitter or more tinsel, and, but I always also put some on the other side. Um, I also have never used tinsel of this company before. I've uh, beforehand just used Shimmerlox tinsel um, and this is definitely, I'm not sure, but this is definitely the same size of tinsel. Uh, Shimmerlocks just did not have this color. This is from the Doll Hair Emporium and they actually uh, they have tinsel hair but they don't have the colors that Shimmerlocks uh, is selling so that's a good match. So always use, always look uh, on both uh, sides online which is um, which is giving you the color that you need. So yeah and this one was also really long so I cut it again Let's see how, how, how it works.
so the hair is really sticking in the body and not falling out again. So now let's um, put in the tail and I think the last thing that I will do is put on the um, new cutie mark. For the tail I'm also using all three colors, so the light pink, the more uh, red or orangey pink and of course also the tinsel. And I use the same length that I also used for the mane, so it's also going to be a very long tail. Then I'm using my wire to get the tail from the back into the body of the pony. Now it's time for the zip ties. One through the loop of the hair and one around. And then of course cut them short. Now you can pull and the tail is ready. As now the tail is out of the way and the hair from the head, so the mane, like the glue is still drying, I have time to think about the um, cutie mark. Yeah, I think in generation 3 they were already called cutie mark or symbol. I think I want to put it on both sides because, to be honest, just putting it on one side, it's just a cost-cutting measure <laughs> that they started in Generation 3. Uh, bony symbols need to be on both sides. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in this video, but this is definitely a Christmas-themed pony, but I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the beginning. But I want to do something pretty, like, simple, because I like to do pony customs that are, that, that could have been real ponies from a pony line. I don't like super extravagant things. Uh, I like um, cutie marks that are simple, that are like that could have been really produced. And um, yeah, with this pink pony, I think we're going to do something like this. So like a bubble pyramid to look like a Christmas tree, something like this. I like it. So let's try that. I'm using normal acrylic paint, nothing special. Yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> to to make a color that I like. Ah, kind of not really happy about it. I want to use several different pink or also silver, silver pinky tones for this bubble pyramid. And I'm sorry for this bad camera work. Uh, the camera obviously is above my head, and um, when looking down on the pony's body, I, I don't see that my head is a little bit in the way on, for, <laughs> on camera frame. Uh, yeah, I think you can still see what I'm doing, but I'm not that professional. Yeah, these are some of my favorite nail polishes. They're really, really metally, metal shiny, and I'm also using those. So one of them is a little bit golden. Um, no, not golden. One of them is really bronze, but I'm starting here with the um, little bit pink silver one. So. And uh, yeah, when I'm always shaking the pony <laughs> uh, to each side, uh, that's why um, that's uh, then I look how, then I have a look how how the shine already works. If it looks nice enough, there I'm checking. Nice and shiny. This is a little dotting tool that I'm using, and um, yeah, I sometimes then use a small brush like this. I don't know why, sometimes I use the dotting tool, sometimes I use a brush. <laughs> and yeah, I'm also going in white because I uh, thought 
it's not uh, popping really because the, the whole body of the pony is also pink and then putting pink bubbles on it yeah so I definitely wanted to put some white in and I'm doing the same to the back side of the pony so my camera work doesn't get better I'm sorry I'm, I'm just not very good with filming uh, tutorials and, and crafty things it's I don't know I'm better in front of the camera I guess I tried to like um, put the dots or the the bubbles at the edge like um, of the pyramid so I have kind of an outline and then I can fill in all the bubbles Getting to the nail polish again. I think I used the dotting tool more for the nail polish and for the acrylic paint I used the uh, tiny brush. And some white bubbles again. And here, really carefully, the thinnest, thinnest is, is the word, yeah, I think, uh, brush that I have to put uh, the star on the top of the pyramid or tree or whatever you want to call it. It's like the tree topper, it's a little star. You can see it up close. And I also decided, I mean, I said I don't want to change anything about the eyes, but I decided to uh, give it a little bit of a different color. So I put in some pink so that it's a pink pony and it also has got pink eyes. First with the acrylic color and then, oh, you, great camera work again. I am so professional. I mean, I am not professional, <laughs> that's why I'm not professional. Uh, yeah, and I also use uh, the metallic uh, nail polish again. And that was a good idea because I really like that the eyes become really shiny with that. There you can see it, I like that. To put the head back on I use my beloved super glue from Uhu and with this pony pose it was quite tricky to, to really find the right position that it uh, but it really looks like this it is really the diva pose is really uh, really bent so uh, I think I got the position correct and the super glue dries really fast and it's really strong there it is so the glue has definitely dried now inside um, for the main and now I have to wash it again and let's see how much of the hair and of the tinsel will come out. I hope not too much. But that's quite normal when you have just rehaired a pony to have uh, loose hair. But I was um, impressed that no tinsel uh, got loose again. Now I'm a little bit not 
really decided if I want to keep her straight hair or if I want to do it curly because tinsel and curls are a little bit of a difficult topic because most often the tinsel does not really curl with it. Now I did um, a curly style with the tail already but maybe I need to put it in boiling a boiling hot water again so as for a boil perm then I would probably have to do the same with the mane so uh, let's go ahead and do kind of the same thing to the mane and then put it in boiling hot water and yeah so a boil perm After the boil perm that you saw, now it has completely dried. Let's take the curlers out and let's see how um, the curls look and also how the tinsel looks. Because I've never done a boil perm on tinsel hair. And usually tinsel hair is not very easy to curl, so it more or less stays as it wants. <laughs> As I was expecting, the tinsel is not really, I mean, you're not really able to really curl it. Uh, it's in line with the rest of the curls, so that's fine. Here it's already a little bit separated. I don't know if I want that. But I think it actually turned out really nice. not that easy to see that the hair is actually two-toned like um, here this is this one color of pink that's more dusty really like the front of her body like this here and I mean, you can see it from that perspective better and here and the other one is lighter these two strands here and I mean in the tail everything is mixed together but here you can see there's just a little bit more yellowish and this other so I think from the front she looks now better because this was what it was meant to be supposed to be um, get um, well together with this color 
which is the faded color obviously and I really like it from the back you can still see that more pink color it doesn't match that well with these uh, with this hair color but that's actually why I put these two different tones of hair color in because I thought the lighter one would match better with backside but yeah I wish I had something to put like a little hair clip here so that her eye would be visible but this is really difficult with that pose anyways so let's find a nice place for her in my Christmas decor here or here or here I think I will leave her here she clashes a little bit with the colors over here don't like that too much. It's a completely different pink tone and all of the other colors. So this is more the red and green aisle. And then this is kind of separated enough for me uh, with this green tree here. And she has enough space for her curls to lay out up than there that she was pretty cramped in. So I hope you enjoyed this little custom project well, she was in real need of, of a new look. She was so way like beyond gone, her hair and everything. So she can now live uh, her new life in my Christmas display and uh, the, uh, the other month of the year she will just probably sit in my Generation 3 pony collection. And um, yeah, she did not turn out like super Christmassy, Christmassy, but like this uh, Christmas tree bubble pyramid with a little star and then I just wanted to like match her like uh, this colored body color so I think that turned out okay so thank you for watching um, if you like that content sometimes I do customs um, not that often but if you like my little pony and um, G1s especially but I often also get G3s so if you like that then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and yeah see you real soon and may the ponies be with you bye